Hi, it's How nice to finally meet you. I used to be your number one fan. Used to. I'm still your number one. Oh fan. my god. How do we shower? <laughs> I don't shower. I have I not been smelling to you. <laughs> yeah, are you showing all these things? Yes. Ah, are you trying to spoil my career? No. <laughs> oh my god, like please don't comfortable showing. No. <laughs> it's so yes. bad for as a foreigner. I promise you this is not a country to do it in. And I'm not missing words, I'm saying it's it's not a country to do it in. It's about 5.30 p.m. Uh, I'm leaving work. Uh, I need to rush somewhere. So I'm going to meet a Nigerian lady by the name Ebaide. Bo Ebaide. So this lady traveled all the way from Nigeria to Kenya just to come and live in a van. <laughs> so I just want to go meet her uh, this evening uh, for a short uh, conversation so that she can answer some questions and tell us why she chose to travel all that distance to Kenya just to stay in a camper van and also why she chose Kenya. So I have to do uh, this interview today evening because uh, she's living in Nairobi, I think to some other part of the country that I'm not sure about, but uh, it will take a, a while before she comes back. So her name is uh, Ebaide. Her YouTube channel goes by the name Go Ebaide. Ebaide is E B A I D E. Yeah, I believe I've uh, spelled it correctly. So, guys, without uh, wasting time, I just want to go there before it gets dark. Uh, but uh, even if it gets dark, we'll have to do the video. So, always remember to leave a like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to our okay vlogs. Left onto Marima Lane, then your destination will be on the left. Let's see. Uh, where are you? Your destination is on the left. So I've been told this is Perfect Stitch. Yeah, that's Perfect Stitch. So I've just arrived at Perfect Stitch, as you can see. Uh, this is Perfect Stitch. You can see there, Perfect Stitch. So I, I'm not sure if uh, she has arrived because I cannot see the van, but uh, let me wait for her to come. The other gate. Oh, no wonder. Hi, <laughs> 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 it's How nice to finally meet you. Fine, yes. thank you. Uh, you see, what? I came, uh -huh. it gave me this turn. I, I skipped it. Oh, I went to the other did you turn. come from there? Or from from, from uh, Safari Park. Oh, to USIU, that's then, why. Yes, that's then why. I've parked it inside there. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Anyway, this is, it is the dirtiest van in Kenya. Ah, right? that's okay. It's so, not okay, but I don't care. But it will be fixing. I'm fixing. Yeah. Everything I left on, on done. It's been done. Yeah, they are servicing, servicing the van. All those clutch thing, all mm. those um, gear thing I hadn't mm. bought before. Mm. The lock, the floor lock fell off when we were going. The door that has it facing, mm. my toilet wood because I've been pouring water on it. It has come up, it has broken completely. <laughs> Mr. Charles is just telling me that I shouldn't have poured water, I should have been the wife, and I'm like, it's a toilet. <laughs> Finally, after how many months of planning? After so long. <laughs> before I even left for Meru, yes. when I was still, oh, that, it was during that event, uh, December. For the castle club. Yeah, that was when we started chatting. Yes. And then you were like, we wanted to have this interview, and then we've just been here and there. I was wondering. When will I meet this lady? <laughs> Finally, you have met this yeah. lady. My name is Ebaide. Yeah. I am someone who has one nose and two eyes. And then I have a YouTube channel <laughs> called Go Ebaide. Go underscore Ebaide on Instagram at Go Ebaide on YouTube. Oh, nice. So before we go to your comfort van, why come to Kenya? I just felt like yeah. Kenya had me yeah. not suffering over the basic needs of life. So. Yeah, with Kenya, I could focus on other things that didn't involve electricity, internet, and stuff. So that was why I decided Kenya would serve my needs better. Was it your first time to, to come to Kenya? I'd come here before. I'd come here, spent four months, then went back and came back. What inspired you to get a van? <laughs> <laughs> why did I buy a van? Because I want to live in a van. <laughs> because I want, I want to start... Okay, I don't know if it is van life. Okay, there is, it's van life, but I don't know if it was... It wasn't the whole magic around the social media van life that I wanted to do. I wanted to experience living in a van and traveling in a van. 
So whether or not I had done YouTube, I had a YouTube channel or stuff, I still would have wanted to live in a van. And whether or not I was on social media. So I bought a van because I want to experience living in a moving vehicle. I want to have something that is the entirety of me, like everything I own in this world, and then I take it to wherever I want to go to. Uh, and this affords me the thing. It's just, it's a whole house that has tires that I can drive around basically. So uh, I've always loved to travel. I've always wanted to travel. And whenever I travel, it's always, I'm always having to say goodbye. It's always never enough because you don't have enough time to spend there because you are probably paying rent somewhere else that you have to go to. So now I'm not paying rent. Unless I want to pay rent, we are a park. So I'm not paying rent and I can just up and go anywhere. Yeah, that was the essence of buying a van. What made you to go for this type of a van? Okay, so I'd always wanted a Volkswagen. When I was dreaming of van life, I knew van life from Kombi and uh, T3. Uh, but when I came to Kenya, when I wanted to buy, it wasn't making sense to buy a shell for 600,000. That didn't make sense. 600,000 Kenyan shillings, 500,000. With this one, okay, and then most of them, I would now still buy an engine, which wasn't making sense. Okay, anyway, so the prices were outrageous. But with, I think there is this thing around Volkswagen they increase the price because of the whole uh, drama around it, the whole prestige. Yeah. This one had just had its engine changed and it was also a shell. And I thought, I thought to myself, they are just changing this engine and it's a shell. I am starting, I am planning to buy another van. I'm starting this as a learning curve. I am happy I bought it because there's no way I would have bought a Mercedes Sprint and made all the mistakes I've made and not kill, like, gone crazy. I bought literally bought this hundred thousand and turned it. So I wanted something that I could tear apart. I can't buy a van of one uh, ten thousand dollars and tear it apart. Cut a sunroof, cut different things. No, it's too expensive. But with this, this was buying a shell and just turning it into whatever I wanted. So yeah, I bought this because it already had a, a, an engine, a changed engine, and it was shell. Whatever I wanted to do, I could do it, and it's cheap. So I, anything I bought, I would have bought a new engine. I would have built it from the scratch if I had bought Volkswagen. This is the best option. If you could choose your top travel destination that you have visited in your van, which one? I think this is a very premature question. <laughs> because because I'm the only one. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> so... <laughs> so now, the obvious answer is Meru. <laughs> Meru, yeah. <laughs> Meru. What are the three items in your camper van that you wouldn't live without? Oh, that's a unique question. Nobody has asked me that question. Yes. That I wouldn't in my van. Okay, you yes. mean things that belong in the van. You know, I could have a phone, it is in my van, but it doesn't necessarily... Think maybe things that you have installed in the van that you couldn't leave without. Wow, jam yeah. question. No. Eh, eh. I don't know. My toilet? Yeah. Because one would think that I don't use it so often because it's in the van. <laughs> oh, I use that toilet. I didn't know how much I pee until I started using the van. Because hmm? you fear going outside. Eh? Yeah. yeah, I pee a lot. <laughs> I noticed that in the van. Yeah. You, know when you, you know in a small space, you notice everything you do because everything is tedious. That same floor is my cooking place. It's my, the place I work. It's the place I eat. It's the place I do my recreation. It's the place I do everything. So when you do all these little things, it's easy to notice them. All those things I take for granted. I just wake up, go into the toilet, do my business, come out. Oh, now, when I wake up, I first of all change the bed to a toilet right there where we are waking up. So now I can easily appreciate the little things in life here. I can't say my gas because I've not been cooking a lot. So I've been eating out. I don't. I think it's still premature because I'm still new here. That's it. My sunroof. I, okay. I, okay. Yeah. I think my sunroof is the first, not even toilets. I use that sunroof so much. You know, I didn't have a fan in Meru in the afternoons, and I don't have a window. I don't have actual windows. That sunroof is literally everything for air when I'm cooking and everything. I can't imagine how I would have coped in this van if I had it in the van if I didn't install the sunroof actually. So it's very important. I think that's all. I mentioned two, okay. What were some of your favorite outdoor activities when you were camping in the van? in Meru. I didn't go to many places in Meru. I literally parked most of the time because I wasn't driving it. So if I, have, if I would say a favorite outdoor activity is probably watching Netflix around the van because I watched Netflix the first way. I erect it up. I watch it here. I watch it in the cabin place. I watch it in that opening. So I would say the things I do around the van as a house that is not actually a house, that has no space. So I do a lot of things around the house, not inside here. Yeah. I'll say that's what I've done the most. But for favorites, I can't choose now until I actually experience it. I've not experienced it yet. How do you shower? <laughs> I don't shower. I've not been smelling to you. <laughs>
Oh my god, I just have another shower. <laughs> okay, I have a shower bag that I use just once in a while. Uh, where I stayed, there was a camping, there, there's a bathroom in the camping site. I use that. I use stream, stream sometimes. Sometimes I just go out and I have a 10 liter gallon. When it's too hot, I just pour it on my body. I shower in different ways, but most times I use my wife's. Provide an example of at times you, you had to deal with a difficult situation as a camper. I think every time. I've, I'm still fixing the van. I think I've literally dealt with difficult situations since the minute I took this van from Narok. Because that's how it is. It's, it's an old van. Like, okay, uh, these people, I don't know if you know that. Anyway, they have a combi. They literally spent a year in the workshop. As after they had finished the van, they literally spent a year trying to get the mechanical work. And I've just spent like how long? I spent three months, right? Then I went and then now I'm fixing. So I've had a lot of uh, difficulties with the van that we are fixing over and over again. But the most difficult I'll say has been the clutch. That has, okay, it was the brakes, then the clutch. But now the van is 100%. We've done a lot. Talking about the clutch, uh, do you know how to drive a, a manual vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> it's not just manual, it's half gear manual. That's how complicated it is. Yeah, uh, I've learned. So now my main problem would just be balancing the clutch. But I've learned how to drive it, so yeah. Do you know how to drive an automatic car? Oh, perfectly, yeah, easily. Yes, that, uh, it's just... You're learning how to balance the clutch. Yeah, if I, I, I drove it in the last video. Well, after I had balanced, it was okay. But now my problem is just, if I can balance and move it, I'm golden. Talking about camping, are you comfortable living in a city scenario or rural setting? Rural, rural. I don't have any plans to live in any city yeah. as long as I'm living in the van. Even when I buy, ah, oh, universe, hear my prayer. Even when I buy my Mercedes printer, <laughs> I'm still not really going to. Because for starters, you know how, do you know how angry I am that I've been paying for Airbnb since I got here when my house is here? My house is literally here and I'm still paying for another house because there's literally nowhere to park it. So I don't see myself parking in cities and I really don't see so much I want to do in a city unless I want to come fix it or something. Yeah, that's it. Rurals are my thing. Wilderness, forest. I just really can't wait to start driving it. I want to get lost. What do you hate about the bus? What do you hate about the bus? <laughs> there has to be something. Maybe it's, it's Okay, I hate that it is so slow. I, okay, so I, I, it is not hate. I think hate is a strong word. That's why I'm not... Uh, what do you dislike about the bus? What would I rather change? Yes. I would rather I would change that it is so slow. But then I understand it's a carburetor engine, so it is up. It is designed to be slow. So I have, I'm not a patient person, and I've not driven a manual van, let alone a carburetor engine. Do you get? I've driven newer, so I'm used to the fast ones. So I would, I would rather it was a fast car, but I guess I'll have to get used to it, uh, yeah, over time. So that's what I would. I don't like so much. We love your travel videos on YouTube. Uh, will you be making a van tour in future? My van tour video where I explained everything I, that was built and how everything functions. Uh, you, you can get everything on my channel, go a by there. For future additions, van tour, maybe if I add, I, I don't think I'll do a full van tour video of this. So it will be normal videos where I'll now mention things I've added. Like if I had an awning, I'm not going to say I built an awning. I, I would say, have a topic of somewhere I visited, then mentioned, oh, I added an awning. Do you get it? Because I've done the van tour of the entire van. So my next van tour would be for my next Mercedes printer. <laughs> I'm telling the universe to listen to me, even though I don't have any money. <laughs> Who is your favorite YouTuber? Is it Mark of Lux? <laughs> Her name is Nikki Devantal. She, is, she was doing a Prius for three years, that small, tiny Prius with a big dog. And then she did so well with it. Now she has a very, she has a Mercedes printer, a blue one. She's doing so well. She just, she just does it naturally. It's no, no effort. So it's not like there is extra editing in the videos or it's just the fact that it's exact. It, no, not the raw thing we do, we African YouTubers do. It's not the raw thing that, you know, it's just, it's natural. It's real. It's a real vlog. Yeah, and I love Imona Beck. Oh my God, I love Imona Beck. Shit, sure, I love Imona But so it's not, when you say a favorite YouTuber, it's a couple, so yeah. If I want to choose a couple, they are, it's, their own is full van life. They are known for van life, they've been doing it for years. And I'm in love with Max and Oki, but he doesn't post so much like me. So I feel like people would not like me so much because I don't post so much. So, <laughs> you know? so yeah, Max and Oki, yeah, but he doesn't post that often. Do you mind van tour? Huh? <laughs> this is the wrongest of times to no, do van tour because we... for starters, like I can't even, I can't even move things around, everything is scattered. The van is dirty. Oh my God, this is an ISO. We understand you are, the van was being 
Uh, like, I'm, I've not been living in it for one week. Everything is being repaired. So everything is just packed. If you get to the front, it's really bad. But you still want the van tour? Yes, we still want the van tour. Even my toilet is not there. I'm fixing my toilet. Oh, we we'll wait for you to come, but you can see proceed. So where do you start? <laughs> where do I, exactly, that was what I was about to ask. Where do I start from? <laughs> you see, you see what I was saying? Everything is dropping. Everything is scattered. I hope the engine won't drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you showing all these things? Yes. Ah, are you trying to spoil my career? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like... <laughs> I can't, it's, so it is not like I'm feeling as I'm feeling so uncomfortable showing. Oh. <laughs> it's so you bad. Understand the, your vehicle. You understand. You anyway, it's okay. The vehicle is being repaired. So, so that's why those guys disorganized your, your van. My van, okay. So anyway, anyway. Nice. So this is my van. Okay. Uh, Tom means I talk about the things I've done. That's some tedious stuff. Anyway, this is the graffiti. I think this was one of the first things I installed. The graffiti. I wanted a reputation, representation of a lot of things about Africa yeah. when you open the door. Yeah. You know, there is this iconic thing with van lifers. They like to open the door. Shara! So whenever I open the door, shara! I want to see van life Africa! Yeah, so that's it. Uh, do I need to talk more about this? No, like, it says everything for itself. My kitchen, of course. My plumbing almost never worked because, I don't know, it's a crackhead. So I don't have plumbing right now. It's I was supposed to fix it coming to Nairobi, but I'm too poor. Anyway, so there are dirty plates. The ones I used the morning before we came, and then neat plates. I put everything together. There are drawers. Shit, I don't fix this thing. Sorry, oh, this is... <laughs> There are drawers. These are my kitchen drawers. Oh, finally, okay. I just fixed these locks. There are locks on the side before everything just opens and falls out. When I was coming from Meru, everything from here fell out. So we just fix these things to hold them. Then this is my bed, but I can't really show so much because of the way it is. For starters, the um, I have a toilet wood. I have so my toilet is just right here. There is this wood that is always inside, and that's what is the extension for the bed. But because I am fixing the wood, the wood got broken because i've been pouring water i've been literally washing the toilet wood I, I didn't know i wasn't supposed to wash it but you know it's a toilet i mean i put the normal toilet in the wood so in my head it should just it needs to be washed so now they're changing the wood completely because it has come off so that's what i used to extend my bed to sleep it forms an l shape when the wood is usually here i slide it out then there's an extension here so i have this two foam that i put and then use the bed sheets to cover it so it forms a straight bed so usually i sleep diagonally because i'm longer than this left so i sleep from here to there so it's diagonal sleeping yeah so that's for my bed then here right here i have my gas for cooking the cylinder and gas cooker but i mostly okay i've not been cooking a lot i thought i would cook a lot that was why i created two kitchens i have an indoor kitchen and outdoor kitchen i was thinking i'll cook a lot but it's not easy because cooking in indoor for instance this is all my space it means i have to literally sit beside the fire and cook and i don't sit on the bed because when i when we built it the storage was too high so i literally i can't sit my i'm too tall for this so this is all my space this one is just for things so i mostly take things outside to cook but i've been buying food a lot and it's very expensive but yeah there is that there is my plumbing here what else I think that's it. Exterior. Okay, my drawers are here. I have my storage. I have storage here. I have six. So this is six. There are six compartments. One, actually eight. But the place for the tires are not counted. I still put things there. The place the tire things are. But apart from those two places, there are six. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's where all my storage, everything that I was supposed to put around is there then exterior for the exterior the van i basically changed everything i basically changed everything because as i said it was shell so everything from the headlamp to the parking lights to the front bumper to the wiper to the sweet screen to the nini to everything and the van was put in to the door handles to the sunroof to the whole sun, sunroof, 
uh, solar panel, this, tires. Okay, in the exterior now, the only thing I probably didn't fix is the normal body and the rim, but everything is changed. Then for the interior, so we are fixing a lot of things. You know, I came here to fix stuff. Uh, I did the electricity to be perfect, but then the electrician, the wires were all jammed here, so it's all coming out. So I need, I need a fix. So that's what it's doing now. I did the electricity. This thing didn't have this before. We just installed. So there were some little installations here and there. This chair was made. It wasn't here before. This was made by Mr. Charles. Everything is on my channel. This steering, the whole cover, the whole dashboard cover, everything was installed here. Uh, it was installed by Perfect Stitch. Here, yeah, everything. I think that is mostly about then the windows. Uh, the van had windows, like a normal vehicle has. And then I made it abnormal by putting all these metal sheets. I did not want people doing, hey, who is inside? Hey, why are you sleeping in your van? Like in a crate, don't do that. So that's why I put this. And then I installed one window here. One very, very tiny window that brings in zero air. I think this is the worst of places to do this one. <laughs> That one is bad. This one is better. Because that installation is bad. Anyway, so this is the second window. It opens from inside. Uh, but it's so complicated to open right now. So anyway, here is it. So I hook it here. So there are things here. They hook and then it stays. But I seldom open this one. I mostly open that one. Because this one, I always assume people can peep through. But that one protects me more, I think. But I really don't use the windows. I mostly use the sunroof. At least in Meru, but in Diani, I feel like I would be wishing I had windows. Anyway, so my sunroof is my window, everlasting window. What else have I not shown? The tires are just bought. I think that's it. Cool. So in, on the roof, we have solar panel, then sunroof, then sunset rack. So the roof is very busy. So the front, the solar panel is connected. I have two batteries. Uh, I suffered for battery for electricity. I have two batteries. The one that the car uses and the one that the house uses. So the one that the house uses is at the back. Uh, so it's the one that is connected to the sunroof. But when I started using it in Meru, it was so difficult because the, I don't know, I think, I don't know. They just weren't working together. I changed the controller, I changed a lot of things, but it wasn't working. So this is the, my battery, this is the inverter, this is the charge controller. So now I've connected my inverter to the front battery. And so it works with both batteries depending on how much battery I have in the car. So now I don't want to suffer with just this battery of a battery because it doesn't work well. But it's still connected. I have two sockets in the van. I have one here and one here. So this socket is, this socket and this light, they are connected directly to the car. These two. Then I have a kitchen light and a kitchen socket. They are both connected to the battery in front and this battery here. So that way I'm trying to maximize electricity for myself everything here is storage clothes so there are three compartments they are not folded apparently absolutely but there are three compartments yeah you mentioned something about you you can cook inside or outside so how do you cook outside oh yeah so outside i just it's just an outdoor kitchen so there was this one was here before but it came off so yeah it stayed off so yeah here i just usually i do it when i'm parked in a campsite or something Somewhere I can put the cylinder under the van. So the cylinder goes under the van, then the wire passes here and comes here. So I put my cooker here and cook. So that's how my outdoor kitchen works that I don't really use. Yeah. So what's your next destination or is it a secret? <laughs> no, not really. One of the main reasons why I decided to go to Meru first was because of the heat. Because I remember I was in Diani. I did the New Year and Christmas in the end 2021 into 2022. The heat was unbearable and I wasn't living in a van. So I was like, and you know, I went to Mary in January. Sorry, I went to Mary in January. So I was just thinking, I don't want to cope with this heat. So now I went to buy two fans today. So, so the fans will be using an external battery or the same battery for the Rechargeable. rechargeable. They are rechargeable. So during the day, I just plug them into the, the for the impact. For the inverter, and that's it. So one fan here, one fan there. Oh. That's the plan. They are clips, so I don't need to install them. I just clip, clip, and I'm perfect. That's the plan. 
I don't want to die of heat. I'm too young to die. Uh, do you expect to visit uh, every part of this country? In this van, no. Yeah. I don't think this van is going to last longer than the coast. I want to, when I go to the coast, I want to explore from Diani to Lamu. Then when I get to Lamu, hopefully I don't have to use this van anymore. But when I get to Lamu, I would have had enough experience to be sure that I can survive with the normal, a bigger, better van. I would have experience building it. I would have experience on the road and everything. And I would, by then, I would know whether van life is for me or not, whether I can survive. Then I would be willing to go and pour money into. So if that, when that time comes, by the time I finish with the coast, with this van. And another thing I'm thinking about the coast is that, you know, there aren't so many hills on like Meru. So it'd be easier for me to drive around as it is an old man. So yeah, so that's the plan. After then, um, getting another one and moving forward with the other van i expect to tour everywhere i said this in the channel already that it is the one i'm using to learn van life even the people you learn the people you learn van life from the people in developed countries are doing van life they started with crappy van they say it in their videos if people watch videos they say it in their videos that start with a crappy van know it is for you first or rent a van they live in it for like one month, two months. Be sure it's for you before you now go into it. But there's nowhere to rent a van in Kenya, of course. I wish I knew that I would struggle so much in a country that I don't understand the language. And apart from that, this African country, I've been to African countries. I've been, I'm from West Africa. I've been to a lot of the, I've been to a lot of the West African countries. We don't do this here where you see a foreigner and the next thing is that you are seeing an ATM. It is in East Africa that happens. And it happens a lot in Kenya. And I'm not saying, I'm not minding words. I'm saying it as it is. It happens a lot. It's too much. My Nigerian friends came the other day. They had just spent two days in Kenya. They were complaining bitterly that what is this? It's too much. Immediately open your mouth and they know you don't understand. So I wish I wish I had known that this it would have been easier to do this in Rwanda. Definitely. I wish I had known that this language barrier would have influenced this so much. When I got to Kenya, I saw a lot of vintage vans, a lot of vintage vintage cars. We don't do that so much in Nigeria. We just we talk call them Tokumba. We bring them in. My last car, I brought it in. Do you get it? We just bring it in. They are newer cars. So, but in Kenya, you people, like, it's a thing to customize cars. Like, it's, it's a joy. It's, it's pride. Do you get it? You put in store a lot of things. So, in my head, I thought that it would be easier here in Kenya to do this. I didn't know how wrong I was. So, all the swindling, all the money thrown away that I could have used to do something better in my life. I wish I'd known that this is not a country to do this in. For, as a foreigner, I promise you, this is not a country to do it in. And I'm not minding words. I'm saying it's, it's not a country to do it in. If you want to do it, give the contract completely to a Kenyan that you trust. Completely. They should not even know that a foreigner is the owner. Let the Kenyan and do it completely. That's the best way if you want to do it. If not, buy an already made van. Don't, don't, no, not a new van and build it though, no. Buy a, uh, an already built van or bring in your van or give it to a Kenyan. That's what I would advise because I'm not doing this anymore. Nope, not here, nope. Yeah, that's my advice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was wonderful meeting Ebaide. <laughs> That's the, the correct pronunciation. Ebaide. E Ebaide. Uh -huh. Go Ebaide. Uh -huh. Imagine she came all the way from Ni Nigeria up to Kenya just to suffer in a, a van. Just to be a crazy person. What is wrong with me? <laughs> just to live in a van. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, it was nice uh, spending some time with you. I used to be your number one fan. Used to? I'm still your number one. Oh fan. my God. No, 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 no. I am still, I'm, I am your number one fan. Thank you. Because hey. whenever <laughs> every video comes out, I'm going to watch. I have Amazing to, stuff. I commented someday that you need to put a fire extinguisher in your van and I'm not seeing it. Is there? I've oh. had it. I had it in Mary. I've had it before I even nice. left Nairobi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> because of fire. I have because it, yeah. Fire has that. Yeah. yeah. So your, your video has been a, an inspiration to many. Oh, thank and I you. believe uh, more things will come your way. Amen. So guys, remember to go on IG, ah. check out her IG page. Go underscore Ebaide. And also go to on YouTube and uh, subscribe to our channel. At Go Ebaide. Uh, on YouTube, you'll see how clean and organized her van is. Please, yes, I need to remember <laughs> that. This my van is actually clean and organized sometimes, but today we were fixing it. But sometimes my van is clean and organized. I'm not a dirty person. Yes. But she, I am she, sometimes. If you want to know more how she showers in our van. <laughs> Go to her YouTube channel. You'll see how she showers inside her van. No, it's not inside. Mm -mm. Outside her van. I shower inside my van with you know? wipes. It's shower. No. See, 
No, see, the fact the idea that you are pouring water and your body doesn't make a shower. Mm. Bath is bath. Mm. Bath is to get your body clean, right? Mm. Exactly. So I use my wipes and clothes to clean my body. So it's a shower. So you use like uh, the entire packet of wipes just to shower? No, ah. I don't use it. Ah. Come on, there are many inside. Oh. And sometimes I use clothes with mm. water, I just clean. I consider it a shower. In that showering video, I was very keen. <laughs> that, that specific one, the one you were showering, you, you had that thing hung. I thought. Uh, you could remove everything, but... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I was actually saw the comments that, are you seriously taking your bath with clothes? And yeah. I'm thinking, am I supposed to remove my clothes? Clothes mean like real clothes or the under, the, the mere underwear the I was wearing. The same way you shower inside the house. Yeah, I mean, yeah. very funny. <laughs> <laughs> very, very. Anyway, guys, that was a showcase with Amoke Vlogs. Mm. And uh, I've really appreciated for you giving me this opportunity before we had to do, do this video right now 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 with the dirty van because <laughs> i know that uh, you are going somewhere for your next destination yeah. and uh you'll be away from nairobi for a while for a bit. so i didn't okay. want to lose this opportunity before yeah. she became a big star hey god <laughs> <laughs> with the ambassador's sprinter sprinter yes yeah. the one normally used by courier companies to carry yeah that big but i'm not buying yes. that bigger mm. one i'm buying the yes, but the one that i can still stand in mm. but it's more than yeah. one. So guys, always remember to leave a like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to Moke Vlogs. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>